We're going to have Nick Gwazdowski break down the absolute perfect wrestling match from a visualization standpoint, and we're going to start right now. Going off of that preparation for the a big comp for NCAs or for you know world championships for the Olympic trials coming up for the Olympics coming up in 2021. Now it's my my next question was, what role does visualization play? Like do you, when you just said you had just mentioned that you sort of sit there and you might prepare in your training camp, you're going to be preparing for those opponents. But when you're at the comp, you're more concerned about yourself and what how you're going to execute. Yeah. It's like. Do you go through, um, you know, matches, visualizing matches? Do you go through even even something as simple as like th the moment you could win an Olympic title or a world title or or you know qualifying for the Olympic team? What that emotion is going to be like, and does that do you utilize that one to motivate yourself on a daily basis? But do you also use that um, as a means of like? preparing for that intensity of that of that you know challenge when you would step out let's say you are stepping out on the mat against Petrus Vili and, and it's the Olympic finals like do you ever play those games or is yeah. it you know um, I think that's a, a big part of it I think um, I've read a lot about this and I've spoke to professionals like the more times you put yourself in the position um, your brain really can't tell the difference of you physically wrestling or you thinking about the match mm -hmm. it's still repetitions in your brain so the more times you walk yourself through doing the move the correct way um, when you're in that moment you're more likely to do that move the correct way because your brain has thought about it so mm -hmm. much and you've went to bed and while you're thinking and you're not in REM sleep it's going through it again and refining all these things because you think about them yeah so that part of the the visualization and sitting down and going through I'm warming up walk to the mat boom there's my opponent match starts mm -hmm hand fighting, clear this time on my tie, move him, ref blows a whistle, no finger fight, start again, boom. Go through the entire match, you know, single leg pulls my head outside, where am I going with my head? I pull my, my head outside, I pivot my foot up, I start driving through, he turns his hips, I drop back in on the inside single, I pivot my foot, I run the corner, all these things, like that's, that's where I would literally go in the match. Mm -hmm. So yes, my body didn't move one bit when I'm laying there in the morning, but my brain went through the entire match. Mm -hmm. Am I breathing? No. But did I think about every every inch of the match? Your heart rate's probably up a little. Well, you try to, uh, yeah, you try yeah. to, like, stay calm and, like, not get tense and all those things. Yeah. Um, but it's super valuable. Mm -hmm. Okay, 10 seconds left. Where am I going? Shuffle back in. I'm circling left. He's a right lead. You know, I'm circling away from that. I block my head. He comes shot. He shots. I block with my head. Snap. Circle back to the middle. Hand on the mat. Match over. Hands in the air. Win. Yeah. Um, but no, I think it's very valuable. Um, and there's things you learn that you have no like conscious thought of, but just going through it, 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 it goes, it flows. There's, there's people flow. that are smarter than me that have studied it and they're like, it, it, it works. Right. Right. Um, and even if it's one eeny teeny tiny bit, like that may be the difference. Right. So, yeah. 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 I guess when, when when you're deep in in a, you know in a training session, you're on the mat and you know you've been wrestling for two hours. Do you ever put yourself in that situation when you're in when you're in a super fatigue state as yeah, well? Yeah, for sure. When 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 you know you're doing conditioning or stuff like that, it's like all right, thirty seconds left, and it's like you know throw yourself in that Olympic trials final, or you're, you're you know match the Olympics or wherever you're aiming to be. I get a little more pop in my step. Mm -hmm. I can go a little bit longer. Yeah. You know, there's a little more fire in my in my shot, or you know, a little more attention, detail on what I'm doing. Something you had mentioned when when we were talking about your preparation is is your feeling on the mat and like uh, what you feel when 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 you are you know on the mat in a certain state or whatever. But how do you know how do you know you feel strong like in preparation for a competition, or how do you know you feel strong on the mat? Uh, is there anything specific or is it more just your presence mentally and that sort of triggers that heightened state you know, um, physically the the feeling of preparation the feeling of like um especially when competitions start like i feel good everything you know i feel light everything moves well um and that usually means the strength is where i need to be i i wrestled 20 matches a year maybe right so i have the ability to make sure every time i step on the mat I feel ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
Um, in college and in high school, it's a little bit different. You know, you wrestle two times a week, maybe, maybe one dual meet, dual meet on the weekend or a tournament. So those things are a little bit different where you may not feel your greatest every time out. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it is important to have that day of, of rest or have that lighter day. So when you do step out there, there's not just excitement in your, in your brain and in, in your head, but also, um, you know, when you move, things are, things are fast and crisp. So there's, there's, when those things are fast and crisp, I think there's an excited amount of uh, confidence in you. Like, yeah, I can do this. Let's go. Yeah. You can execute at that higher speed. Totally. So if you want help with your wrestling base strength training program, you can click on the link down below and head over to garagestrength.com to pick up your wrestling strength training program. If you want more videos to help you become a better wrestler, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.